quit moving around so much, Bobblehead. When are we gonna get another case, Sam? Surely the local lawbreakers must miss our esoteric brand of personalized criminal justice. Patience is a sharp razor to swallow, little buddy. Okay, don't scream this time. <gasps> ah, I got it! I got it! Hello? Leave Swiss cheese by the rat hole, or you'll never see your precious phone alive again. Jiminy Christmas Eve in a padlock sweatbox. Some misguidedly ballsy felons napped our phone. Eerie. I just went cheese shopping. How did they know? Be sure it's Swiss cheese, right? And be quick about it. Ordinarily, I hate yielding to extortion, but I have to admit I'm half charmed by the sheer spunk of that oily little perp. Where'd you put the cheese, Max? Gosh, it was hours ago. You know I have the memory of a dried trout. Sadly, yes I do. Well, it's gotta be somewhere in this room. Remember our motorcycle trip through the Midwest? Just you, me, and the authorities from seven states. But those were quieter times. Remember our trip to the moon, Max? Like cottage cheese through a strainer, Sam. You continue to baffle me, little pal. One of these days, we're gonna finish that game. I'm still working on getting the rest of the darts from the police impound. No dice. Nobody ever leaves us messages anymore. Hello, Mr. Spatula. How's the weather in there? Where's the rest of the news collection, Max? It's a surprise! I think Hubert could use some water, Max. I'm training him to fetch it himself. This might come in handy. <laughs> Don't do that again. Last month's donuts. Don't throw that out! I'm saving it for a science experiment! You bet, little buddy. They say graffiti is the poetry of our time. Just what we need. More lame poetry. Two thousand two was a great year for calendars. I'm glad we stocked up. We've been going through them at a rate of about one a year since then. Life troubling your digestion? Reality blocking your passages? Expel your troubles with emetics. The handbook for multicolored happiness and separate your bliss. Hey, that's that personal color spectrum book. Self-help for the helplessly selfish. Perfect. I'll take two. I bought that VCR at the supermarket. So you know it's a good one. Still smells like asparagus, though. No comment. Hey, Max. When is it, Sam? You sure you don't remember where you put that cheese, little buddy? Sheesh, you'd think I'd forgotten my pants or something. It's here in the office someplace. What do you think that was on the phone? Ooh, maybe it was the governor calling about my plan to secede from the union. Does that feel drafty in here to you? Hey, you're the one with clothes on. Let's get to work. I couldn't agree more! Whee! Someone once told me that the contents of a lava lamp make an excellent hand cream. That was me! Which is why I haven't tried it. Twenty years worth of electric belts take up a surprising amount of space. Ah yes, I remember that case. Particularly gruesome. Good old Lou. Who's Lou again? The bowling ball, of course. When I got this thing, I thought it would be useful. Where else would we keep the pieces of paper that we're never gonna look at again? Yoo-hoo, tiny hoodlums. Leave the cheese by the hole. We should have Jesse James's hand appraised one of these days. I bet it's especially valuable because it's autographed. Jesse James' severed hand, and it's still twitching. Aha! Oh, 
Oh, there it is. Unfortunately, this is not Swiss cheese. So what? So, the rat was very specific about wanting Swiss cheese in particular. Take that, you law-breaking dairy products. Sam, no! The cheese was innocent! Innocent? I think not. Voila! Swiss cheese. Or close enough to fool the casual observer, anyway. Don't say voila! Greetings! The members of the Benevolent Brotherhood of Vermin would like to thank you for your offer. The members of Sam and Max would like their phone back now. If you don't mind. I regret to inform you the situation has changed, and I am unable to comply with your request. A list of additional demands for the return of the phone is as follows. Now, let's discuss this calmly. Let's debone the smarmy little skis and see if the phone's in there. I ain't talking, coppers. Jimmy Two Teeth ain't no rat. Uh, well, I ain't talking. We've met your demands. We got you the cheese. Any honorable rodent would hold up his end of the bargain and give back our phone. Us rodents is not known for being particularly honorable. We'll go half easy on you if you'll just cough up the phone. Yeah, yeah. Never happened, pig. Look, I want to help you, but my partner is a little unhinged. I'm afraid I may be unable to keep him from harming you in some colorfully gruesome fashion. Let me at him, Sam! Eh, I can take care of myself. Help me help you, Jimmy. What the heck is that supposed to mean? I have no idea, but it always sounds good on TV. I'm about ready to wring your scrawny, trash-eating neck! You think you're scary? You don't know where his hands have been. Or when I last washed them. Who cares? I'm a rat, remember? A dog face. Your partner's giving me a headache. Hand over the phone or I'll make you lick my German-crusted palms. Yeah, yeah, I've licked worse. Like what? You don't even want to know. Can I go now? I'm thinking about stuffing a light bulb down your throat, perp. Go ahead. I've been a little hungry, amateurs. Maybe I'll lock you in our file cabinet. So? In three separate drawers. You bore me. A dog face. Your partner's giving me a headache. Maybe you'd like it if we played you some music. How about Cat Stevens? Fine. Jimmy Two Teeth ain't afraid of no cats. Can I go now? Let me pry open his skull and look for a conscience, Sam. Yeah, yeah. I'm shaking like bacon here, amateurs. You mentioned a headache. Would you like some aspirin? Oh, and while I'm at it, is there anything else I can do to make you comfortable? Are you thirsty, perhaps? Light's too bright? Well, that's sporting of you. Now you mention it, I really don't like being up here so high. I got me a thing about heights. They make me nervous, you know? Oh, really? Don't like heights, eh? How'd you like it if I dangled your greasy hide out the window? Hey, you wouldn't. Wait! I warn you, I'm known for my fuzzy white butterfingers. It's true. You should see him trying to tie an ascot. All right, all right! Have mercy! I've had mercy. It was unpleasantly gooey, like, well, like things that have fallen onto pavement from a great height. I give up! Take your phone and let me go! Ah, oh, for the love of... I wish I could unsee that. Hello? Yes? Great gouts of steaming magma on a beeline for the orphanage. We're on our way. Yeah! Ow! Where's the rat? I let him go. Who was on the phone? It was a commissioner, Max. Multiple reports of malfeasance in the neighborhood. Oh, joy! That's my second favorite feasance. Idiot. We've got to get down to the corner store right away. 